When all is silent, do you hear the gentle voice? A voice from within, beckoning you to become closer to our Lord Jesus Christ. Listen, do you hear the call? The roots of the Order of Carmel are deep, stretching back eight centuries and across thousands of miles to the Holy Land. It was there on Mount Carmel in the late 12th century that former crusaders settled in search of the living God. These men, in imitation of the prophet Elijah, chose to dwell on the mount hallowed by his memory and deeds and lead solitary lives in devotion to God. They developed a special relationship with the mother of Jesus, looking upon Mary as mother, sister, and lady of the place. They dedicated their chapel to her patronage, and so they came to be known as the Brothers of Our Lady of Mount Carmel. Over time, the hermits began migrating back to their homelands in Europe, making wherever they settled their Carmel. In the 15th century, women became part of the Carmelite order, continuing the life of prayer in the spirit of the hermits. Carmel, which means garden, flowers on the prairie as the beautiful and secluded home to North Dakota's Carmelite nuns. The way of the original hermits, living in silence and solitude, is still maintained in the perpetual enclosure of its North Dakota modern counterpart, the Carmel of Mary Monastery. For most of their day and night, the sisters cultivate an atmosphere of silence throughout the monastery. For it is through prayer that the Carmelite nun seeks God. The rule of Carmel bids the Carmelite to stay in her room or nearby, pondering on the word of the Lord day and night, keeping watch at her prayers. When duty calls her forth from the solitude of her room, she carries with her that awareness of God's presence. Do you hear that voice in the gentle breeze? The same quiet voice that called to Elijah on the mountain so long ago. The very summons Elijah's successors have faithfully heeded year after year. Do you feel a stirring in your heart calling you to embark on a deeper devotion to God as a Carmelite nun? At the Carmel of Mary Monastery, the day begins at midnight. The nuns rise from their sleep to offer their praise to God, offering reparation for the nighttime sins of the world. The sisters then retire for a few more hours of rest. They rise again at dawn to begin the morning by coming together in prayerful chanting. Once this is completed, each sister spends an hour of personal prayer. This is followed by the sisters coming together to celebrate in the holy sacrifice of the Mass. The Carmelite nun seeks the face of God in the Eucharistic liturgical prayer and through her personal prayer. From these sources, she draws strength for the day's demands on body and soul in her work, study, and recreation. Each day brings its own duties and surprises, but the regular rhythm of liturgical prayer punctuates the day's activity. The Vespers bell calls the nuns to assemble for evening prayer, where they gather up the day and offer it to the Lord. Another hour of personal prayer follows Vespers. A period of recreation rounds out the day. The observance of silence is relaxed, and the nuns come together and share their day. During this time, they might share their joy through music, working on their individual artwork or crafts, perhaps some sewing or weaving, or a little gardening. They might spend the time doing some baking, possibly joining together for a fun celebration or simply enjoying some lively conversation. After night prayer, when the time to retire comes, the Carmelite is ready to rest. The quest for God is a lifelong adventure, and for the Carmelite nun, there are specific stages along the journey. 
When a woman hears the Lord beckoning her to Carmel, she asks to enter the monastery. For six to twelve months, she lives in the cloister, the section of the monastery set aside only for nuns, following along with the sisters' daily routine and affirming the call. After this period of initial discernment, the candidate is received into the novitiate, the time of formation, and receives the habit of Carmel. This stage of the journey as a novice lasts from one to two years, testing further the vocation to the contemplative life. When the time of the novitiate is completed, she will make her profession of vows for a period of three to six years, continuing the studies she began in the novitiate and intensifying her relationship with God in her daily prayer. All of these periods of formation are to prepare the nun for the day of her solemn profession when she vows her life to God forever. And the journey continues, walking securely under the maternal protection of Blessed Mother Mary, the Carmelite mirrors within her heart the love of Jesus for His Mother. Each day, the Carmelite is being formed by the Holy Spirit drawing closer to her desired goal until the final destination is reached and the lifelong search for God is rewarded in an endless encounter, face to face. Is this the journey for you? Do you hear the gentle voice from within calling you to join the Order of Carmel and follow their path? to become closer to our Lord Jesus Christ. Listen, do you hear the call?